Now, when it comes to your databases, we want to look at just the basic structure of a given database. And here I have a file in front of me. And what you'll see on the left is a little navigation section with a heading tables. So when we look at the contents of that, because under tables, you'll find whatever tables you have in your database. When I double click on it, it will open that table. So if I close this and I double click over there, this is my table. My table consists of data. It consists of fields. It consists of records. So let's break that down. First of all, we've got our tables, right? In that table, I have these various headings over here. You see them? Name, surname, name, grade, gender, etc. Each one of those represent a particular field that's inside of this table. So that's a field on, it, field on its own. This is a field on its own. Grade is a field on its own, gender, etc. But these are all the fields that I've created within my table. So a field is a single fact that can be viewed, right? We can't edit that here, we can just view it. So this group of data over here, this relates to one person. This is a single record. That's why when I right click on the side, do you see it says, I can create a new record or I can delete this record, okay? So this whole section of data over here would be known as my record. And then obviously my table that I mentioned before, this is a collection of all of my records. Now, I do have two ways of viewing this. And this is where the structure is also important because this is my data sheet view that I currently have over here. And data sheet view is where I'm going to type in my data. But when I go and click view and I go to design view, this is where I can see the actual structure of my table. So here I can modify the fields, deal with the properties, the data that's going to be um, entered into that particular field. All of those sort of structural changes, design changes are made in design view and data sheet view is where I enter the data into my table.